Polls open in just eight hours, and President Donald Trump is wrapping up a last-minute tour on the campaign trail. Good evening, I'm Hunter Petroviak. The president stopped in Fort Wayne and spoke to thousands of people at the War Memorial Coliseum. Fox 55's Cody Butler was inside that rally, and he joins us live with more. Cody. Hunter, more than 20,000 people came here to the Coliseum to see the president speak. In fact, some of them didn't even get inside. Many watching on a jumbotron here in the parking lot. President Trump is the first sitting president to visit Fort Wayne since Ronald Reagan during the floods of 1982. However, President Trump's mission was completely different. He's looking to energize thousands of people to vote for Mike Braun tomorrow. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Indiana. Thank President Donald Trump is encouraging people to get out the vote in Fort Wayne. He's campaigning for Senate candidate Mike Braun. On a senator who will always be loyal to the people of Indiana, he'll do what's right. Vote tomorrow. Get out tomorrow. You're going to see in the next two years, and once President gets reelected, there are going to be more people like me that come on board. The rally focused on achievements the president hopes to build on, including the economy, health care, and helping veterans. Dynamics has announced a $75 million investment in Columbia City. The president also brought his daughter Ivanka, as well as Colleen Conway and Sarah Huckabee Sanders, to encourage the women voters. Tomorrow, we want you all to turn up and help us fight back so we continue to keep this rolling. There were a few problems inside the rally itself. A few protesters had to be escorted out. <laughs> the crowd chanted lock her up after Trump highlighted one of the women who accused Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault admitted she made up the story. And of course, Trump slammed on Senator Joe Donnelly saying he is part of the problem. Joe Donnelly was raided the least effective Democrat in the entire United States Senate. The Richard Luger Center has named Donnelly one of the most bipartisan senators in office. Donnelly said he welcomed the president in Indiana today. His campaign sent a statement thanking the president for keeping thousands of committed bronze supporters off the phones and doors the night before the election, as the campaign called voters across the region encouraging them to vote. Now, Fort Wayne was the president's second of three stops today in states where there are currently races too close to call. He is currently at a rally in Missouri. Now, polls open in Indiana tomorrow from 6 in the morning until 6 at night. Reporting live, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News. Ahead of Trump's